Hello everyone, this is Mohan Royal. I am very happy to see you all in one more video. Let's get into the session. This mechanism I have seen on LinkedIn while scrolling the sheets, so I tried it. Uh, this is the explored view of our today's mechanism. Here I have kept the name as skin underscore wiper underscore concept. Now we are in assembly workbench, so I am switching the app to DMU Kinematics by going to start digital mockup DME kinematics as I said in previous videos for kinematics we should have one fixed part and one command to control the mechanism at first I am fixing the base part so select the fix icon new mechanism here you can rename it as you want here I am just simply clicking OK then select the base part here you can see the mechanism is added to the structure here you can see the fixed part as well then next time we'll go for revolute select the revolute icon it is asking for line and plane for line 1 I am selecting the center axis of the shaft for line 2 I am selecting the base part center axis for plane I am selecting the base part right face for plane 2 I am selecting the shaft right face here we should give offset if you select null it will go with 0 angle driven then ok here a message is showing the mechanism can be simulated degree of freedom 0 so it can be simulated right now here you can see one command ok double click the mechanism yes it's working so like this same we are going to give for all other parts next is the rack so i am going to give the same revolute i'm selecting the rack center axis then shaft center axis i'm selecting the side face of the rack part side face of the shaft no need to give angle driven offset okay for the simple mechanism one command is sufficient that's why i said no need to give angle driven here you can see on degree of freedom in order to make the mechanism simulator we should make it zero next i'm going to give prismatic joint for rack and rank support before that i'm gonna make fixer shaft which is supporting the rack support part we already made the base part as fixed so we can use rigid joint select the base part and gear support then ok here you can see the rigid added under the joints still one degree of freedom is there now go to revolute joint for line 1 select the rack support center axis that is vertical part for line 2 select the shaft center axis plane 1 select the side face of rack support then select the side face of gear support give offset ok now you can see the degree of freedom changed from 1 to 2 now I am going to give prismatic joint for that rack and rack support for that select that prismatic joint select the edge of the rack for our convenience I am going to hide that rack then for line 2 select the inner edge of the rack support to unite the rack again for plane 1 select the top face of the rack again I'm going to hide it for plane 2 select the inner face of the rack support I'm unhiding the rack again give ok the mechanism can be simulated the mechanism or select mechanism ok 
here it is working fine the remaining thing is the gear so we are going to make connection with the gear for gear we can use a revolt joint okay before that close that edit simulation select revolt joint for line one select the gear center axis for line two select the shaft center axis then for plane select the gear side face then shaft side face don't forget to give offset otherwise it will get move to zero okay now you can see one degree of freedom is added okay now i'm going to create a rack and pinion joint between the gear and the rack as of now there is no connection between the rack support and the gear a pair is a joint of two links having relative motion so i am creating the revolute joint with rack support for that we need to go for revolute joint for line one select the center axis of rack support then center axis of gear for plane one select the rack support side face then gear shaft gear side face offset okay still there is one degree of freedom mm. now i'm going to create a rack and pinion joint to select rack and pinion for rack and pinion we need to select prismatic joint and revolved joint which is already created so i'm going to click prismatic joint then revolved joint then give okay now the message is showing the mechanism can be simulated now the degree of freedom is coming to zero i'm making it in a simulated view let me click the simulation mechanism double click now it is working fine as per the mechanism okay now every part is moving okay close then click cancel mm, now we are going to record and click on simulation and double click the mechanism check the automatic insert box we now to record that simulation just click on arrow it will get recorded automatically select trick set close then give okay next option is compile simulation i am just renaming it as result click on okay the result is getting stored and the tree structure and the replay replay node next on that node you can see the result double click it click the play button you can put the replay in loop the gear is rotating front and backward as per the track movement okay pause if you guys have any suggestions or feedback please let me know in the comment box thank you all thank you for your support